but your oath alone is very inspiring. Oh, I can tell you that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we need to we need to organize that around that. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us your full name. Atia. I'm Just a one Atia. name wonder. All right. <laughs> like Batman. Yes. Yeah, okay. Superman. Yeah. Wonder Woman. I'm feeling that. Okay. <laughs>
And so for those people who are not married, I guarantee you, you abstaining from that intimate relationship prior to marriage, or keeping the cookie in the cookie jar, as I say, <laughs> it will actually do wonders for your relationship because it allows you and the person that you are interacting with to really take your relationship to a higher level and not deal with the lustful situation. Right, right. So for married couples, togetherness, openness, and transparency is a number one factor. Nice. And also for persons who are single. People who are single, again, to remain abstinence, if you're ready to engage in a relationship, and it's okay if you're not, because a lot of times people are focusing on their career, they're focusing on getting themselves together so that when they come to the relationship table, that they're coming to that table whole and knowing who they are. And it's important to know who you are before you connect with someone else. Otherwise, how do you know what you're looking for? Makes sense. So. Makes sense. Now, you, something's boggling my mind right now, because I know a lot of people tend to think that everybody will end up in a relationship or should end up in a relationship. Is that a belief you have or you think that some people are destined to be single forever, which is fine with them? Well, that's a very good question, Christy. <laughs> and I am an advocate for people finding themselves. We all have a twin. We all have a quote-unquote soulmate, or if you want to call it that, or that person who helps to balance us. You know, I, I hear a lot of women, and I've heard men, I don't need a woman, or a woman, I don't need a man, but actually you do. Everyone needs that counterpart, whether it's in a marital situation or a friendship situation, everyone needs that counterpart to help balance them. Otherwise, you're in balance. It's like a chair with one leg, <laughs> or, you know, or a person with one leg. You don't have that balance, and balance is important because the feminine and the masculine energies are very critical in helping a person to become their ultimate best. Interesting. Very interesting. Man, I think you need to come back on next week <laughs> yes. and we get some more conversation Absolutely. going. Absolutely. I would love to. <laughs> that is great. And um, anything else you'd like to tell us about? Anything you have coming up that we can anticipate? Well, I, I really I have a radio program coming up. I will be launching Straightforward Talk with Atia. I have the blog. I've had the blog for years where people can actually write me or call in to get relationship uh, or on the spot coaching. I don't call it advice because I am a life coach and we don't give advice. We give strategies to help a person to become better. But I am launching a Straightforward Talk radio program which starts on Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio. The information will be portrayed on the website um, as soon as we get that information up and going. So that's what we have coming up. I say call into the show. It is a live radio show. People can call in, ask their questions, make their comments. Sounds good. Sounds good. And tell us about some of the places that you've been to. You said you travel, you know, internationally doing coaching. Tell yes, us about that. Yes, well, doing speaking. Mm -hmm. I've spoken in Canada. I've spoken in the UK. Um, I did a tribute to Whitney Houston. Uh, conference where I was invited as the keynote speaker. We talked, uh, we, the issue there was to address children who have been caught up in, in the social services system to uh, speak to the cultural needs of the black child who was caught up in the system. I've spoken all across America. I am actually a former Mrs. Illinois, hey. international, <laughs> runner-up worldwide. Um, I stood on the platform of National Child Welfare Reform, and so that has taken me throughout uh, the United States, again in the UK, here, I've been, I've spoken here in the Caribbean, I've done a workshop since I've been here, I have actually been on uh, Fresh FM radio, and um, just really doing a lot of things, looking to travel throughout the Caribbean actually to um, deliver the message of the importance of marriage, because here in the Caribbean there is a pervading mindset that marriage is not important. And what I understand here in Grenada is that over 80% of the children born here are born out of wedlock. That creates a condition of poverty. And so the Caribbean needs to hear the message of purposeful dating and marriage and healthy marriage relationships because there are a lot of challenges here. And so I'm here to all right. I noticed you're getting you're getting around up there. You're feeling the energy. It's like I need to tell you something up there. Yes, absolutely. That is good. And what is your connection to Grenada? Actually, I came here on vacation with my wonderful husband. His grandmother is Grenadian, okay. and, and although his grandmother is his grandmother, it's like his mother. She pretty much reared him. 
And um, she's in London, though. But we came here to visit. She comes twice a year. And we hadn't left. And that was a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful island. I love it. <laughs> okay, good, good. That's always good. Tourists made look up. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Atia, thank you so much thank for coming you, on Chrissy. and giving us your inspir inspirational words. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So, of course, log on to the website and check her out and stay tuned. We're getting back into the carnival here.